All right, guys, we are live. Um, feel free to chime in as I go along. Um, the whole idea behind this live feed for the Hibiscus House is to give you and people the ideas of what is going on in the River District throughout the season and then so on and so forth. Um, the concept of what we're trying to base this off of is strictly within the River District. Um, depending on how busy the River District is, we'll base, we'll, we'll also change some of the things that I will um, make a point to add to this as the season goes on. So if we're not busy in the River District, but I know Fort Myers Beach is, then we might go through and um, and make some changes and add some other events that are going on down there. So, but we are looking at first. Uh, if anybody who doesn't know me, uh, my name's Bob. I own the Hibiscus House. Me and Colleen, my wife. Um, before we get started, I want to be able to. Um, I would love to have you guys go visit any of our social media pages: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and and you know. Join over there, check those out, let us know what you think. We're always posting, you know, we post on a pretty regular basis on all of those platforms. Um, if you could, uh, we, we love feedback just primarily for, you know, to know if it's something that we're doing that we really enjoy or if it's something that you guys enjoy. If it's something that uh, is, is worthwhile, it is worth the time. It does take a lot of time to, to put these things together. So um, if you do get over there, maybe down in the comments, throw me a thumbs up, uh, throw me a couple remarks, kind of let me know what you guys feel um, about this whole process. So um, I wanted to also let you know at the end of this, I will be giving a giveaway away, which, um, but we will not know, and we, but you guys won't see that until the very end. Um, the, I wanted to go over some of the local events that will be happening over the weekend, October 11th, this coming Friday, we have, um, Mark Telescata, who is, he's going to be at the barrel rooms, kind of a bluesy type band, really good. You got to check him out on, um, on YouTube and such. I was listening to some of his music today. Um, now if you're a theater goer in town, the Florida rep has the Matilda musical. If that's, you know, something you're into, definitely feel free to, uh, to look into that. We we do sell tickets through the B&B as well. So if you're here and you're a guest and you decide to go that way, you know, feel free to uh, to, to ask me what we can do to, to get you guys going. Um, also, we at the, um, on the patio at, um, uh, hey Tara, Amanda, uh, at uh, Patio de Leon, I think it's how you say that. Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon, I don't know. So on the patio, Colleen's here too, but she's a little more camera shy than I am. Um, so it's called the uh, Pit Bull of Blues. So didn't do much research on them. Don't really know much about them, but it sounds like it's just a blues band. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, chances are I will be going down Friday evening to at least check them out. I get a couple of videos and such. On Saturday night, um, TC Band is also playing, is also playing at the um, Ponce de Leon, and there is a dueling piano thing going on at City Tavern. Starts at 9 p.m. It's called Dueling Downtown, so it sounds kind of interesting. Um, also, the Haunted Tours, you want to see Colleen? <laughs> She's scared of the camera. So, um, also with the Haunted Tours, it is October. It's, you know, we're getting close to Halloween, so uh, True Tours Downtown does a Haunted History Tour, we've taken the tour. Matter of fact, um, my daughter's Girl Scout Troop will also be doing the tour here next week. Next week. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun. You get kind of a mix of history and some stories and kind of take it for what it's worth. It's it's, But nonetheless, it's it's a lot of fun, a lot of things to, uh, to check out. My computer's moving here. Um, and that starts Friday night and Saturday night at 8 p.m. So you have to actually get your tickets online. Once again, if you are here at the B&B this weekend and you decide that you want to get tickets, let me know. I can go ahead and take care of it for you and we'll, you know, kind of work that out. Um, True Tours also does a really good history tour. It starts at 1030 on Saturday morning and they do, it's strictly a history tour. It's about a 90 minute tour, runs, I believe it's $13. Um, but uh, this way, if you guys decide that you want to do that, I can also help you with that as well. Um, now. 
kind of get into some of the main dialogue of what I want this to kind of be about is primarily, what did you put the boat races in? What's going on this weekend? Not in the Orford District. You said Ed Fort Myers Beaches. No. So she's messing my system up. Uh. Um, but the main dialogue that I'm looking at here is um, this coming Saturday, we are actually working on our first anniversary of owning the inn. Um, we took over ownership on the 12th of October, which was last year, happened to be on a Friday. Um, it's been a lot of fun, really good ride. Um, Colleen worked with me for a few months and then decided that she wanted to go back to a career. So she jumped ship and went there. Helps me on weekends and in the evenings and such. So, um, nonetheless, we, uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. You meet a lot of great people doing this. Uh, a little bit of a backstory, kind of how we came up with this, if folks aren't aware of it. Um, you know, both Colleen and I both worked up in Maryland. We lived in Maryland our entire lives. And just all of a sudden in November of 2017 decided that we wanted something a little different. We wanted something a little more. Um, so we opted to go ahead and, you know, quit our jobs. We were making good money, good insurance, good solid jobs. Of course, you know, the parents and such, you know, always have that concern. But um, we knew that if we put our mind to it, we'd be able to, to do it. And so far, knock on wood, um, we've been able to do it. So uh, things are looking really good. And so far that we are in October, we're looking exceptionally busy for the next few months. So uh, we're really excited about that. Um, to kind of give you a quick update or quick idea of what we do here, um, it, we, we try to really make ourselves available for our guests. So it's when you come in the door, we kind of adopt this mantra of you enter as guests, you leave as friends. We, we really want to build that relationship with our guests where it's not just a simple, here's your bed, here's your breakfast, off you go. You know, before you show up, we wanna start talking and making those connections before you walk through this door. Um, that being said, you know, we, we really make it a point to kind of use almost like a concierge type service. You know, I want myself available. If there's things going on, I want my guests to come in and have a very good experience with not just the B&B, &B, but even the surrounding area. If they like the area, they'll like the B&B. &B. If they like the B&B &B and the area, they come back. Um, and that's kind of the whole idea. So we, we work with a lot of collaboration with, or we collaborate with a lot of other businesses in town. Um, like I mentioned, like with the walking tours, Gina Taylor, who I work very closely with, great lady, great company. Um, I love working with her. She's been great. I've been working with her since we first started here a year ago. Um, our goal in the future is, you know, we, we don't plan on going anywhere. You know, this is, this is kind of our home. We're looking at building it and maintaining a, a very strong presence here in the Fort Myers area. Um, we're trying to hold to about a 10 to 15 minute window here. Um, so if you guys have any questions, anything that you'd like to bring up about the area, you know, Please let me know. You know, I can always I can always uh, ask and answer them or find a, a way to answer them for you and get back to you. It's definitely not a problem. Um, just a quick reminder that with the holidays coming up, I know like for us, it's kind of strange because I'm still not quite used to, you know, up north. You were dealing with the fall and you were dealing with the leaves and you were dealing with the the, the, the color changes and such. We're down here. It's always green with it always being green. It's kind of hard to to kind of get our heads wrapped around that. Um, but the holidays are in fact coming up. Um, we are looking at the holidays, which usually book up very quickly. So if anyone is interested in coming down around the holidays, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, within the next month, I, I will assure you those dates will be gone. Um, they go very, very fast. Last year, they were actually all closed off because the previous owner had those dates blocked for him and his family. And, um, once we took over ownership, we said, open everything back up. And within, I want to say maybe two or three weeks. I mean, we had from the 21st or 22nd of December through the 3rd of January was booked like that. So definitely, definitely keep that in the back of your head. Um, if it's something that you want to do, um, there's plenty to go on. There's plenty that goes on around here that time of the year they are having, which we'll get more involved with as, we get closer to those dates, but they're going to have, you know, like Jingle Bell runs. They're going to have the Edison lights all. Um, they do a big light show and laser show and such down there through December, which I believe starts the 
day after Thanksgiving runs until the, I think it's the 30th of December. So it's just kind of like that little lump. It's basically a month long. So if it's something that you guys want to get down here on, definitely jump at it. Um, other than that, you know, hopefully this is something that I'm going to, I'm going to look at doing over the next couple weeks and be able to build and, uh, look at, at getting to a spot where, you know, each week as events and such build down here in the river district, we are able to, um, to give you that information and, and maybe entice you guys to get down here for, for a period of time. So, um, last thing, just remind you that the, you know, definitely once again, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, always putting in deals and, and such on those, on those medias. Um, but we are actually going to tell, I have a set of rules that we're going to follow for this giveaway. The giveaway that I have is two tickets to the Edison Ford Winter States. Um, with those tickets, the rules basically are, is that when you come on, you have to stay a night here and you get the tickets if you stay a night here with us at the end. Um, in the section that is called notes and special requests, make sure you type in there that you saw this on the first Facebook live feed and the first person who does that will win the tickets. Once that does happen, I will announce who won the tickets, um, on Facebook. So this way we all know who did that. So, but the Edison and Ford winter States are amazing. They do a great job up there. Um, the houses are amazing. The museum's amazing. So it's definitely worth checking out. Um, that being said, after everything's said and done with this, which we are working on the 12-minute mark, um, my last call of action is, once again, guys, it really helps us to, to push on social medias. Um, if you can join us on Twitter, join us on Instagram, join us on Facebook, of course, you know, that's where we're at now. Um, it's great. You know, I love interacting with my guests, and whether it be future, past, or even present guests, I always tell my folks, that when they come in to, if they don't have a Facebook page or aren't friends with us on Facebook, to get on Facebook because I, between Colleen and myself, we're always updating that for events or even small things that are going on in the neighborhood. It's not necessarily just things that are at the district. It could be things that are going on in some of the local churches. Like there's a local church up the way that does a Greek fest every November. So um, it's, it's one of those things that there's always something going on somewhere. And uh, we're always updating that. So, all right, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this go around. Like I said, we're holding it to about 15 minutes and we're working on 13 right now. So um, if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments down there. Let me know what you guys think. And we will catch you guys next week. So, um, all right. Remember, you come to the Hibiscus house, you enter as guests, you leave as friends. All right, guys, thanks for watching.